everyone welcome to today's natural soap today in the lab i am making my hair oil i have my oils already measured up some of my oils that i have in here is my sweet almond oil fractionated coconut oil i do i'm doing tea tree so i have my tea tree oil in here and i think it may need a little bit more of tea tree oil Oops. i don't know what i'm doing you guys i'm losing it today I'm just rushing around. I got so many projects I need to do. And I need to also get ready for my Sunday market day. I'm also doing um, inventory on some of my soaps that I need to make. And I know one of my good soaps was my um, Nag Champa soap. And um, I need to find another distributor for that fragrance because the one I use is no longer in business. And they had one of the best oils. So um, here are my two ounce bottles here, and I always already have my flowers in here. I have um, jasmine and rose in here. So what I am going to do is, let me see. I don't do I see a jasmine in here? So let me go see if I can find some jasmine rose petals. I see, I mean, jasmine petals. I already have my rose petals in here. So let me see if I can go put my jasmines in. Okay, thanks for holding you guys. And actually, I don't need to put the jasmine in. My jasmine goes in my yoni. I told you I'm all over the place today. So here is my first bottle of my organic rose petals. And I bought this from a herbal shop right around the corner from where I live at. I actually can walk there I keep forgetting about them so you want a steady pour because I don't want to get anything on the bottles because the simple fact I have to put the labels on them and these are normally less sequester for a cup a day so it can get all the uh, everything all nice and blended And I also need to make my rose um, rose hairspray. And I do that for your um, dreadlocks and everything. And I'm actually out of bottles, so I just ordered some more spray bottles. The things you know you don't have when you do your um, <laughs> inventory. And I used to just make these in bulk. I mean, I mean, in a bottle already made and then pour it, but I stopped doing that as well. I don't know if you guys can see my little bottles, but I'll show you once I fill them up. Raise not, want not. And sometimes you got to be, make sure you top the bottom, shake the bottom because a lot of times, because vegetable glycerin can be a little heavy. So sometimes it seeps to the bottom. So you want to make sure you get it in your mixture, which is what I'm doing now. Y'all, um, what is today? Thursday going so far. I know here I'm in Maryland, you guys, and it's been so gloomy. We had a gust of wind yesterday. I don't know what it was, where it just not give it a shake, 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 shake. Make sure your top is closed. Shake, 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 shake. Here you go. And see my hair. I actually haven't been growing. This is my third time growing dreadlocks out. This time I did them small and I did the locking system where you knot them after they started growing so I can swim right away because I love to swim. Um, but this is only a few months of growing 
my hair. I mean, actually, I think it's been a year. Yes, it's been a year because my son moved. So when I first started, I cut all my hair off. So it was about this length. Don't get me wrong. My hair do grow pretty quickly. But I put this on my scalp. I shampooed my hair the other day and let it dry. So now I have to put some oil on it. So, and yes, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I do charge myself for my products. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. So, here you have it. My rose oil. Rose hair oil. All I have to do is put the label on. And I'm good to go. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your rest of your evening. Toodles.